Men, fuck whatever they can. Let's just keep it a thousand. Yeah. Okay. It is very difficult to attract women. Okay. There's some guys that are naturals. There's some guys that learn game. But if we're going to go over men in general, it is very difficult for most guys to get girls. Period. Okay. There's a reason why one in three guys right now is reporting either being a virgin or not having had sex in a year. It is not easy to get laid as a man, especially if you live in the West where women have higher standards. You know, and we broke this down with Rolo the other day. Women are making more money now, open sexual marketplace. They can get well, whatever guy they want, etc. So it's a fact now at this point. It's not even me just talking shit to talk shit. It is difficult for men in general to get women. Okay. Now, that we've established that men play the game on hard mode and women play the game on easy mode, I'll give you guys an analogy. As you guys can see, this studio is pretty much based on uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, right? Hmm. For any of you guys that played Grand Theft Auto back in the day, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Shout out to Tommy Versetti and Lance Vance and all these other motherfuckers, right? But Lance Vance dance, right? <laughs> so, so this is what women do, right? Women play Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and, you know, they start the game off, and they, you know, start twitching a little bit. Uh, 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 and next thing you know, bam, rocket launcher, right? Mission one, rocket launcher, M4s, all this other shit. And then they beat the game quick. And they're like, oh, that was easy. That wasn't too hard. Meanwhile, your dumbass starts off with nothing. Nothing. And you got to fucking beat the game regular. Okay. No game shark. Okay? So tell me something. When you beat the game... The hard way versus someone else beats the game the easy way. Who's going to actually have more skills? I'll tell you who. The person that beat the game without the fucking cheat codes. Then these bitches will turn around and try to sit there and tell you, hey, well, uh, you beat the game on hard mode and I beat the game on easy mode. But however, uh, I, I should get the same benefits that I do that you do from beating the game on easy mode. In other words, I should be able to be treated like a guy and have sex with as many people as I want and exercise zero uh, discretion when it comes to fucking people. No, bitch, because we don't play the game on the same set of rules. Men and women are different, but this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. This is the modern-day female strategy. Let me go ahead and adopt a male mindset when it uh, benefits me, a.k.a. having indiscriminate sex, but then also let me be treated like a lady when it benefits me. Oh, bro, I'm a lady. You should never hit a lady. Not saying that you should, but this is just to give you guys an example of how women think. Okay, the cognitive dissonance is real. The lack of uh, awareness of how the world really works is fucking real. And the reason why is because women are rarely held accountable for their poor decisions. Okay, and rarely, sometimes I may be the fucking first person in their life to tell them, yo, that's not how the way the way the world fucking works. You want a traditional man, but you want to be out here on OnlyFans showing your butthole for $4.99. It doesn't work that way, bitch. Okay, it does not work that way. No guy that has the same brain is going to sit there and put his life on the line to be a traditional man to a girl that's showing her ass on the Internet for $3.99. That's not how it goes, but their delusion will let them think that because they get all this fucking positive reinforcement for their poor decisions on the internet, okay? So I say all that to come to the conclusion of this. Girls are going to sit there and think that they're equal to you. Do not let them think that shit, okay? Because if you let a woman think that she's equal to you, it's just a matter of time and then she's going to start thinking that she's better than you. She always has to feel like she's starting from a deficit when she's dealing with you, mm. okay? Resist the slave mind, guys. She's not your equal. You're not a fucking power couple. You're the leader. She follows. Donovan always used to say this shit, and I agree with him a thousand percent. You're the fucking pilot of your goddamn plane. She's just a fucking stewardess. She's a flight attendant. And the beauty about that is that you can't replace a pilot. If you replace a pilot, the fucking plane's going to crash, okay? However, you can get different flight attendants, just like the game of chess. You got a king? Right? Me and Tate both play chess. Right? It's very true. The queen has a bunch of power. She can move all over the place. Different spaces, whatever it may be. But people don't talk about this shit. The queen can die and you still win the game. And as a matter of fact, the feminists will never tell you this, but if you get a pawn across the board, what does it turn into? A queen. And you can get multiple pawns across the board and turn them into queens. But if the king dies, the game is fucking over. Do not let these bitches tell you that you are equal to them, when in reality, if they die, the game doesn't end, but if you die, the game's fucking over, baby. <laughs> and what I mean by that is you need to be in the leadership position. If your woman doesn't sit there and prop you up to become the best version of yourself, kick her to the fucking curb, or recreational use only. I'm not telling you how to not fuck those chicks, but if she doesn't understand her place in the relationship, that's when you need to kick her, man. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of modern-day women think the way that Mia Khalifa does. Well, men are easy to get, so, uh, it, it, you know, it is what it is. Men are easy. Bitch, where's your man then? You can't get a guy to commit to you. We don't play by the same set of rules. 
You give out sex, we give out relationships. If you can't get a guy to take you seriously, give you a committed relationship, you failed as a woman. But guess what? Most of these women nowadays are fucking single, aren't they? They are single. So they don't want to face the cold, hard reality that they can't fucking retain a guy. But Mark, guy game, I choose to be single. Yeah, I choose to be single. Yeah. And the incels that live in the fucking basement with their mom, they choose to not fuck bitches, right? <laughs> That's really the truth. When a girl can't get a guy to lock her down, she is literally the female equivalent of a dude that's sitting in his basement with nacho cheese on his chest, Mountain Dew on the side, and smells like he hasn't showered in seven days. That's the diff- same shit. Same shit. Those idiots that are on Twitch simping for bitches and selling them money and all this other shit, those niggas are the same of these studies over here that can't get a guy to take them serious and marry them or give them a committed relationship. It's the same fucking thing. But the difference is this. There's no problem calling out male inadequacy. You're a loser. Live with your mom. You're, you're a virgin. You're an incel, dude. You know what? <laughs> these fucking bitches are in relationship cells. You know what I mean? They can't get a guy to take them seriously. <laughs> oh, well, I got a bunch of DMs. I got a bunch of attention. What are you talking about? No, 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 sweetheart. That's not how it works. <laughs> How many guys do you have in your DMs that you actually admire and respect that you want to take seriously? Oh, I'll fucking wait. How many guys are getting down on one knee and actually proposing to you that you love, admire, and respect? I'll wait. These bitches have zero female game. Zero female game. We don't play the same set of rules like I said before. They got the game shark. They beat Vice City on easy mode, but they cannot beat the game with regular weapons like we do. They can't. That's why they can't keep a guy around. If a woman is unable, okay, to get security from a man, she is effectively a fucking failure. I don't care what anyone says. The metric of success for you as a woman is not how much money you earn or your ability to provide security because men don't give a fuck about that from a biological sense. Does that mean you're a bad person? Does that mean you're a horrible person? Does that mean you're useless to society, et cetera? No, I'm sure as a woman, you can be a creator. You can create uh, jobs. You can be an entrepreneur. You can make all this money. However, from a biological sense, it does not fucking matter. 